Hello guys and welcome to a new video and today's video will be in two parts The first part I'll be showing you a new trick and the second part will be an awesome aggressive gameplay So let's start with the tricks and I don't usually share such tricks because most of them are useless But this one can actually be useful quick shout out to AJ gaming I got this trick from him So basically this trick allows you to use kinetic shield while being able to shoot and move normally just like that And what you need for this trick first of all the kinetic shield and second of all a normal armor plate so First of all, use the kinetic shield. Then open your bag and drag and drop the armor plate outside. And finally switch back to your gun. And as you can see, I'm healing on the move. Now the effectiveness of this trick depends on how fast you can do it. But overall, it's extremely helpful and totally worth it. Because not only you're healing, but you're able to move at normal speed. Jump and slide as you want and fire your guns at any time. I'm sure Activision will know about this soon and they will hopefully fix it by season 9. Now let's move on to the gameplay. I don't have to say where we landed anymore, you guys already know. So we went against at least two squads here and it was a fun start. Oh, come on! The revived flight will arrive in one minute. I'm not sure how I didn't see this guy but I was too focused on the one I knocked because I thought they were teammates and that he was gonna try revive him but it turns out that they were enemies and on top of that he stole my kill A common mistake that many players do is they jump from high ground and they open their wingsuit. Even me sometimes. But it's better to just drop without opening your wingsuit. Because that way you prevent the warning and the sound of the wingsuit deployment so you can surprise your enemy. And if you haven't done this yet then go to the settings and disable auto wingsuit option. That will allow you to open your wingsuit manually whenever you need it. Enemy. That's what I meant by the correct way of dropping into your enemy And yes you lose a bit of health but it was only 18 at this height And in return I managed to catch the enemy off guard <laughs> After that we upgraded our skills then we went for the airdrops in here I picked another AK-47 by mistake but I gave it to my teammate and he was happy. At this point we were ready to kill anyone. Enemy vehicle is nearly done for. Down. I should have used the trick here but I was under too much pressure and I forgot about it. Another good fight and my team arrived in a perfect timing because I think I would have gone down there if it wasn't for their cover fire. 
Moving on to the next fight, and in here you can see a bunch of camping snipers in their natural habitat. And I was trying to figure out which one to rush, but all of them were hunting in packs. So to be safe, I landed on another building. Drop is coming. Engaging the enemies. Enemy down. Fatality. Most enemies in this game will probably think I'm speed hacking because of the fast ADS perk. I really hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay and if you did, a like would be highly appreciated. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.